So you just think there was a lack of good faith and... Um, so it always had to happen, it was inevitable? It was, it was inevitable, okay. and it was, in, it was inevitable even before we went into the relationship with the National Party. I mean, a lot of commentators, myself included, we really see it as pretty much a left-right split in, in the Māori Party, in the sense that Harawera represented the more sort of left-wing and maybe poor Māori, and you guys represented the more sort of aspirational Māori. Do you think mm. does that I, resonate with you? Or? Yeah, no, not at all, because that's the whole thing, is that the Māori Party is based on kaupapa. Yeah. And we keep trying to make that point to the media, but unfortunately they can't pick that up. We are based on kaupapa, we're not left or right. We are Māori, and so uh, when you have um, people that keep saying that um, we're the more right wing, well, no, well, that's not right. Well, maybe not more the right wing, but the more non-left, non-right. Sure, that might be a good way of putting mm. it. Whereas Hara, we is definitely left wing, right? And Mana are definitely left wing. So there always had to be a split, surely, uh, for that reason. I, mana, yes, I, I agree. It's, it's left wing. Um, Hone, I'm not too sure what his policy, his personal politics are. But you worked with him for ages. I mean, he he was a bit of a radical firebrand. Um, right and from, he always. was yeah, he was very um, invested in the relationship with National. Okay. He was totally in favour so, of it. So, do you think he's changed? He definitely has. Um, and well, his um, it, yeah, it's it's different from what it was when he went into Parliament. I think. Right. I mean, we're seeing right now a very different Hone Harawera to what we saw even a year ago. In some respects, we see him on TV actually being kind of a bit more conciliatory and calm, it seems. So that's what a lot of commentators are saying, especially this leaders debate the other night. Um, so, yeah, what do you put that down to? He wasn't, was he not like that in the, the Murray party? For heaven's sakes, no. <laughs> he was very much um, always the radical, yeah. um, radical activist, and, and that's... Um, what his personality was in, in public as well as in private. Uh, now he's had a um, personality makeover. Okay. Mm, it's well, interesting. I mean, he's obviously amongst a lot of other, I guess, left wing activists like John Minto, Sue Bradford, Matt McCartan. Do you think that's what's happened? I mean. Uh, um, he was always an activist. Yeah. yeah. Okay. yeah. What the, the, um, the portrayal he has now is certainly not his personality. OK, so is this new slogan of the Māori Party, what is it, 100% Māori, is that sort of a, a, a dig at, at mana? Is that kind of a way of differentiating yourself with... I, I don't them? know if it's a dig, but it's certainly the, the, the truth. Uh, we are 100% Māori, and we are by Māori, for Māori, of Māori. Uh, and the, our kaupapa Māori is um, very much focused on getting um, Māori views through and not the views of... Uh, well, although we, we do go to um, everybody and, uh, and we're happy to um, speak with everybody, at the end of the day when we look at policies, at um, bills, legislation, anything, it's always with a Māori eye. Is this going to help our people? Okay. Is this going to ensure the survival of Māori but as Māori? But nonetheless, some people would point to some of the social statistics for Māori, for Pacific people as getting worse over the last three years, so uh, doesn't that sort of suggest it hasn't worked? Oh, well, you know, when I came into Parliament, there were statistics showing that we had 230,000 children living in poverty, mm. and that was after nine years mm. of a Labour government supposedly mm. helping those that, who are the most vulnerable in our society mm. um, at the end of years of plenty. Yeah. Um, so uh, I think that it is really bad that we haven't done any better, but I think that it is also understandable when we've been in a recession and um, teetering on, on the verge of another one. So I don't say that that is, is right, but certainly um, you, know, you cannot say that uh, the Māori Party has um, not done what we can to make things right. I mean, we've managed to get $620 million uh, from budgets to go towards Māori, not um, spread amongst all peoples, but for Māori programs, for okay. Māori initiatives, and that's never been done before. Okay. I'm interested in a few more of your party's policies um, going into this election. What's the asset sale policy? No asset sales. We don't agree with it at all. Okay. But what we do say, if it's going to happen, then we want to make sure that iwi are involved. If they want to be 
um, investing in okay. New Zealand assets, then the government needs to be sitting I, down I, I with can them. understand that approach, but it still seems a bit confusing in the sense that you've just said you're against them, but mm. you're for them if no, no, they no, are done we're in the right it. way. We're against it, but if it's going to go ahead, yeah. then it that needs to be done properly. Okay, so are there any sort of conditions that you would put then to make sure it's done properly? Oh, and that's what we're saying. Uh, if it does go ahead, yeah. then um, we want the government to be sitting down with iwi. If iwi are interested in investing, then they need to have that conversation <coughs> with the government. The government um, cannot be um, sending it out to anyone even, everywhere without having that conversation, first of all, with the iwi. Okay. What about the minimum wage? You seem to have the most, I guess, left-wing policy of the parliamentary parties on increasing it. Yeah, $16 an hour minimum wage. Uh, last election it was $15 an hour. That, um, everybody's kept it at $15. Yeah. We've saying no, over three years, inflation has increased, the cost of living sure. has increased, we need to increase that minimum wage as well. But if you're going into coalition with National, isn't, doesn't that kind of mean that there's just no chance of implementing that? And possibly quite the opposite, that they could bring in youth wage, etc which will move things in the wrong direction? Well, we'll, we'll, have, yeah, we'll have to see uh, which of, uh, whether there is that relationship is going to go ahead sure. and which policies we can actually negotiate on. I mean, the bigger question, I guess, is the coalition possibilities. I'm assuming that the Murray Party will be in coalition with National after the election. Well, Do you think I'm wrong on that? Or? Um, I'd, Maybe not a coalition, maybe um, some, a, a similar arrangement to what we have yeah. at the moment. Uh, but yeah, we've always said that we're happy to talk to any party that looks mm -hmm. as though it may be able to form a government. Yeah, I mean, we can't be totally sure what the election result will be, but um, assuming the National Party have um, you know, the highest vote or maybe even a majority, I presume that John Key's going to be inviting the Māori Party in to uh, have, have uh, a minister to or so in the government, um, won't that be dangerous for the long-term viability of your party in that yeah, if you continue to be associated with National, it's going to be bad for your, say, branding, if you like. Mm. But, you know, it, it's interesting is that um, everybody keeps saying um, smaller parties that go into arrangements mm. with the larger parties always... Um, get a worse vote, and they have the every, vote, every time. Break up, whatever. Yeah. Um, in fact, what we've seen over the, the last few years is... is uh, Parties that smaller parties that go into arrangements with Labour have it harder than those that go in with National. So, you know, okay. that's that's interesting to, to look at that. The other thing is because our brand is so different to Nationals, we're not going to be subsumed by National. Right. We're always going to stand out. Whereas that's a danger when you one. go with Labour. Yes. So um, the other thing is that we do not want to be seen as the Māori caucus of National. Well. And, yeah. and uh, we isn't, are isn't very, that how very it's starting to look. No, no, we are very regardless um, of the reality. Careful. Yeah, we're very um, careful that... not to, to to let that get out, uh, because the thing is, when you look at our last three years, we actually voted against National more yeah. times than Labor did. Yeah. You know, if you look at the statistics, Labor voted with National more times. Than yeah. Oh, I accept that's the reality, but yeah. there's going to be this idea. I think just people are going to remember that you are with National, and again you're with National, mm -hmm. and that. Won't that be the death of the party? Because um, you know people are just going to assume that you're part of the establishment. You're yeah. part of yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, that's right. And don't think that um, because I'm saying that we did well this mm. term with National that we would go with National next time. No, we we we're quite prepared to talk with them. We're quite prepared to see what they have mm. to offer. But um, you know we but, we do are aware of those issues, yeah. and we will be discussing those. But it would be, be, be pretty hard, though, for uh, Tariana Turia and Peter Sharples to give away a lot of the things they've gained, such as the Constitution Review, such as... Um, Whānau Ora. Whānau Ora. Yeah. So it just seems to me inevitable that, um, especially if Labour's got no chance of you know, making a coalition, that you're going to stick with them and... Um, yeah, and those are some of the things that we do need to weigh up. And, you know, we would go to our people to f ask them what they think of it. So, you know, we get through the election, we get... We listen to any offers that are made, um, discuss it, and then go to, back to our constituents and ask them what they think. OK. Um, it might be a good time to bring in our uh, assistant interviewer. This is James Meagher. Can He's um, throwing in some uh, supplementary questions and watching the Twitter stream, seeing if anyone else is asking any questions out there. So yep. 
what have you got to add? Well, uh, first, thanks for joining us today, Lahui. Um, we had a question up on Twitter about the recent pay rise for MPs, and um, I saw that uh, your ex-colleague, Honi Hadawera, came out against that. Um, so I wanted to ask a couple of things. Do you think he's genuine in coming out against that? Um, do you think he would um, reject a pay rise himself? And secondly, what, what is your position on the pay rise that, they, um, that you've received? Mm. Yes, I, I did see what Hone had to say, and that'd be interesting to see if he carries through on that. For me, um, it couldn't have come at a better time. Now I can pay off some of the overdraft for paying for the campaign. But, um, yeah, uh, when you look, people do seem to have these things about politicians getting paid a lot. But when you look at the number of hours that we do put in, and we're very serious, or the vast majority of us are very serious about what we do, and so we're out. So, for example, in Te Taitunga, 161,000 kilometres, four islands, seven cities, I'm on the go all the time. I think that, um, you know, like I said before, um, two nights in my own bed this week, and that's not unusual because I've got to be out in an electorate talking to the people, finding out what their issues are, working with them to make their lives better, easier. Uh, and so it's, I think that I earn the money that, that I do get. Um, and um, no, I don't apologise for um, being able to do the work and get it. What I do say is that we need to be paying more tax on it. So I, I have no problem at all by paying a higher tax so that we can spread it amongst all of the people. So what's, what's the Māori Party's policy on increasing the tax rate? Well, what we say is that there's no tax on the first $25,000 earned and that we are happy to um, increase the, the tax on the highest earners. And I presume you'd favour the Labour Party's uh, GST off food? Hey, they stole that yeah, from me. Yeah, that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, actually, uh, my bill was to remove GST from oh, healthy and, food. Yeah. Um, they've taken a little tiny yeah. part of that, which is, is great, but I hope that they take it further if they ever do get into government. Our policy now is GST of all food because, of, of course, it is the low-income earners that are hit hardest by GST. OK, so when you mean all food, so you're extending it out to milk... Bread, it was milk um, bread and that um, under our policy yeah. before, um, of course. And I, I wouldn't want to see it on fast foods, but I would like to see it on all foods in supermarkets, um, markets, you know, so um, certainly healthy foods and other food that is, are staples.